how you doing? Welcome to this iMovie for mobile device tutorial. I'm going to take you through um, the start to the end of a of a project, and I'm going to take you through iMovie and show you exactly how to use it. Really, really great little um, little app. Um, although, if you were coming from FCPX, it is a little bit frustrating at times, but that's because it does things um, in a way that's not familiar to you if you were coming from one of those um, more professional apps. So let's go into iMovie. So first, we um, the the view that we normally get popped up is this video view here, and that's just all your videos. My one's on the right hand side. I've got a little cloud next to them because I've not downloaded them from iCloud. If I wanted to download them from my iCloud storage, I would just click that cloud and it would download them for me. I can filter them here with these arrows on the bottom left. I can filter them all this first, newest, first, or favorites. Um, and then at the top, I've got video, projects, and theater. So theater would just be a exported, finished movie that I'd created, and it just allows you to share your projects um, across your computers, your iOS devices, or, or, or indeed your Apple TV. So let's go to projects first and foremost, and let's cl click create new project. Now movie is normally where you would go, but we're just gonna go to trailer in the first instance, and all trailer is, is a set of stock, sort of templates that you can create your own trailer um, from. They've all got names on the front to give you the, the, the type of theme. So if we were gonna go for this superhero type theme, on the right hand side it tells you how long it is, and on the left hand side it will tell you roughly how many sort of cast members you would need in that um, trailer to make it look um, as, it, as it looks in the demo. So if we just click play through there, And as you can see, this is all stock image. I haven't done this. It's all there. Everybody has this, whoever's got that, the app. And um, it just comes up with this. This is not my family, by the way. This is just the um, the, the trailer um, demonstration. So you get the idea. And you would just click, put your videos in place of the videos that they've got there. Okay? So let's go to create project. And this time I'm going to go movie. Now, um, first sort of screen you get pop up is your theme screen. Now the theme, it just gives you a standard set of themes, and these themes um, would be for things like transitions. So if you was gonna put a transition from video clip to video clip, you would get this modern theme if you selected this theme. Likewise with the bright and the others, if you look at neon, you would get this type of theme on your transitions and your text. So um, I'm just gonna select this modern, um, because I, I am going to make a couple of transitions in this short video that I will give you as a demo. So I selected the modern and then I'm just going to click create. You can go back and change this at a later date by the way and it's simple. On the bottom of the screen you've got the camera where it would ask you if you selected camera do you want to allow iMovie to access your camera, video camera and sound and that was if you was going to um, create a video whilst you were out within iMovie if you wanted to quickly edit it and then share it to your social devices you could uh, your social media pages you could do via this here likewise with the mic you could record as well um, and then with the settings um, we've just got a project filter so video filters we can access these later as well video filters we can then reach uh, change our theme as I mentioned right here um, we can take the we can remove theme music because the theme sounds and music music and sounds come with themes um, we can fade in from black the start of our project fade out to black the end of our project It'll automatically do that chain that changes for you and speed changes with pitch So if we made the video or our project faster in parts Then obviously the audio would change in pitch so you can check keep this the, the same pitch and that will do it automatically for you So I'm just gonna click done. So if I want to import a video, I'm gonna use the top um, where it says tap to select videos, photos, or audio. If I want to record from camera, as it says there, I would do from the center one and then tap for help. So um, I'm going to tap to um, find what video I want to put in. On the bottom, you can choose video, photos, or audio. So you can have, add videos to, um, sorry, photos to a video or make a slideshow of photos within iMovie as well if you wanted. So I'm just gonna click recently added and all I've got is this boxing video. Um, it's a, a guy called Lomachenko. It's just something I recorded just to give you a demo of this. Um, so 
We can then preview it by pressing this play button here. We can add or remove the audio as we go along our toolbar and then the rest is just picture in picture and frames but that's a little bit more advanced tools I might come on to that in a later video so at the time being I'm just gonna click the first icon which is download into our timeline and it automatically um, puts us at the end of the timeline now if I want to edit this video at all I have to tap to select the video it then becomes highlighted in yellow and I get my toolbar come up along the bottom of the screen now the tools on the bottom do different things the scissors clearly as you can see are highlighted at the moment and I can split detach duplicates or delete that part of the clip so if I was going to split that clip I could I could only split it exactly where it was if I then went to move that clip it would deselect the clip and remove the tools so that's quite important it can get quite frustrating if you forget to do that when you select the clip by tapping it that's the part at which you want to edit that clip so all I'm going to do I'm gonna let this I'm gonna select the clip I'm gonna to go to my sound first and foremost and I'm gonna turn the sound down down so you don't have to listen to the sound the rest speak for themselves if I wanted to retime the um, the clip I would click the little timer the sound I've just spoken about the text if I wanted to add text I could do so like so and it's just a case of tap in the type of text you want and then hold in the text and edit in the text and then filters on the bottom right hand side I could just apply filters to my video and it does it there and then okay so if we look at this blockbuster type um, effect that's the first thing that I'm going to do to my video of this 18 second video I'm going to add this blockbuster effect and then I'm gonna let the video play through I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do in a minute he starts moving left to right right to left and that's I'm gonna slow the video down there so I'm gonna make a transition and slow the video down there cut back to a normal screen and I'm gonna slow the video down where he does this windmill and punches with his hand I'm gonna slow the video down there and then we're gonna punch again and go back to normal speed so it's very very simple what I'm going to do so I'm just gonna cut across my timeline remember first and foremost what I want to do I am going to deselect the video select my settings I want to fade in from black and fade out to black so now my video at the start will fade in and fade out I'm then gonna click done I'm gonna move along in my timeline to, to the place where he starts to move from side to side and just before he does that which is right about here I'm going to select my video I'm going to go to my scissors and I'm going to split my clip there and you notice in the center of my clip I get this little um, this little box pop up here and if I select that box I can then place my themed um, my themed transition and I can retime it down the bottom right here so I'm gonna have a one second themed transition right there notice okay if I want to go back and change the timing of that I just select it and I change the timing or I could change that transition to just dissolve so it would dissolve and then reshow again reselect that transition I can get it to slide or I can get it to wipe like so and finally I can also get it to fade in and if I select it to fade in and you see there's two little buttons um, two little dots below the fade so if I tap it again it'll change the fade transition from this so from black to white so you can change the color of the fade transition from black to white now this is where I want to slow it down and then I'm gonna put another right here I'm gonna put another split in right there I'm splitting that I'm changing that to fade once again but this center here I'm going to change the filter by selecting the filters in the bottom right hand side and I'm gonna make this
into this vintage or should I use this um, I've also got it's also a dreamy so I'm gonna change it to this dreamy um, sort of video here and then what I'm going to do I'm going to um, I'm the, the, the audio is down I'm going to slow down the um, the speed as well so it's half as fast as it was okay so now if I go to this part here it will play through make the transition and then he will start moving so to show you his fantastic movement in slow motion transition it'll come back to normal then I'm gonna pause it again and as I go through what I want to do I'm just going to split it right here just split right here so I select the scissors select split I'm not going to make a transition but what I'm going to do is find this part of the video then split it again but this part of the video I'm going to retime to back to half of what it was now if I play through that video what I want to do is just remove this filter from this and put the put the normal filter back on the blockbuster filter back on split this again so I'm gonna split no transition but with this one I'm just gonna retime it and put it back to normal or reset reset the timing so it goes back to, to, to one and if I play through that video I've got a video that transitions there slows down to show some movement speeds back up transitions again slows down right here and then speeds back up and fades out so you can see in a very short space of time I've created a very basic video um, in a very sim following a very simple process so now I click done I can then upload this video directly to my social media I can save the video I can send it to iCloud um, I can airdrop it or I can just play it or I can delete it if I want to edit the movie again I just click the edit button and I go back to the start of the movie it saved all my changes but that is really simple so iMovie excellent bit of kit I will try it or excellent app I will try and um, look at some more advanced ways and things good stuff that you could do with it and I'll, um, I'll bring that to you um, very soon so thanks a lot for watching I hope this helps you out and, um, and yeah go out shoot some movies and try and edit it with iMovie catch you later bye